Alright, well, off to the Mother Superior's office. To the shop of horrors. This is just a busy little convent. And I haven't forgot about Garrett and his uh, spy room and all that. I think we've done the potted plant. The cheerful flower seemed to like Lily. At least it bent forward just a touch when Lily came close. All right, I went after that spindle before. A note was pinned on the receipt holder. Dear, crossed out, Ms. Zimmelback, I have to say I'm very surprised by the way you fulfilled my request to send me a pet for my student's classroom. I had a real animal in mind, one that conveyed important values, like a puma or a boa constrictor. But the guinea pig you sent <laughs> is useless to me. I've pickled it in alcohol Aww. to save it for the dissection class in biology. Send me a proper animal immediately, or you will not have heard the l l last of me. Regardless, Mother Superior ignorance. I wanted the, uh, yes, I want the spindle. Open some of the stuff. Some of the stuff is a Lily had to make sure she didn't get the skewer in her eye. It was so easy to have an accident. All right, we did all the other stuff. Okay. Some of it, it takes a second for it to do anything, and I've kind of moved on by then. Uh, Either right there click. was a picture missing here, or there was one too many hooks. But that's by the weird painting. Ooh -hoo. If there's a hollow floor downstairs, I'm betting that uh, opens the wall somehow. Uh, but not for me. Lumpy's bowl was nicely decorated. <laughs> Life as Mother Superior's pet was probably wonderful. Yeah, and but fulfilling. we did this. And Lumpy hasn't Lumpy changed, has hungry, he? Or he was tired. Or bored. It was always hard to tell with him. Uh, it's a shame I can't pick you up. I'd feed you to the little shop of horrors. Well, that would be mean, wouldn't it? Okay. We have a bomb that needs to be disposed of. Uh, did I look at the fireplace? I think I did. At yeah, night, her kettle. Mother Superior placed her kettle over the fire, but at this okay. time of day... Okay. Now, to the stairwell. And we... I, I'm thinking the hair bracket, but... Oh, uh, Garrett and uh, the confessional room. Although we can't do anything about it yet. I assume we can't because Numbnuts is in here pounding away. What the hell was his name? Frank. Aha! And there's a bracket also. A surveillance room. That was the hard evidence that Garrett was spying for Mother Superior. Well, clever Edna. Uh, I'd like right to be able to say that Lily had a plan. That she was thinking about luring Garrett into the confession booth and locking it shut with a bar. But Lily was just thinking about toys. <laughs> the hell else is in here? Okay. Well, let's get away from the noise. I can always... Let's shut the door. I can always... Uh, I can always look in the Please inventory. stay off the slabs, okay? You're interfering with my, my research. research. The cross wobbled back and forth like it was dancing. Lily briefly considered whether she should point it out to Frank, but he was busy drilling through some kind of ring. <laughs> but we have to uh, find the secret for him. So... Oh, we needed a board. 
for the yeah. At first glance, the board didn't look very exciting, but Lily was used to making do with little. While yes, other children was. unwrap their presents at Christmas, she could find happiness in a pine needle dropped from a Christmas tree. Okay. Lily makes me sad. We've been upstairs, and we've been, I think, go upstairs, Lily. Oh, I don't know if we've done this painting or not. Lily had always liked the large painting in the main hall. It showed a dining table after a big meal with a man in the center who had found the last cookie. <laughs> Lily giggled at the thought that he would eat it all by himself, oh, no matter no. how much the others begged. Oh, Jesus and the last cookie. <laughs> I, got I may edit this, but I need to make sure. I'm not sure getting around in this yet. Yeah, okay, we did that. Oh, Jesus and the last cookie. That's the dormitory, and then we go out of the other thing. All right, the classroom's there. We're supposed to talk to somebody or other. And there's a collection here. Okay, this is a... We have an old man hanging from a coat rack. Okay. <laughs> Ha! Oh, uh, the guinea pig in, uh, did she formal formaldehyde or alcohol or what? Uh, well, let's get him. Okay. Is anybody else active? Well, I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a little break and I'll be back. We have an old man. <laughs> I hate to leave you hanging. But for you, you won't be hanging. I'll be, I'll be splitting something in, and we'll be dealing with the old man and a musket, and evidently he was a Boy Scout. Okay, I just got back to the game, and I kind of been thinking about this. And I remember really well talking to the cafeteria lady, and it, Ooh, got it wasn't really the skeleton long. from biology class after all. It was just the old man again from history class. But anyway, I have a feeling we're going to be talking here a while. Um. <laughs> oh, a visitor. What a rare, rare, rare animal. The hawk. But I don't mean the remake. I mean the original with, with extra ketchup, please. Uh, Douglas Fairbanks, maybe. I got a bad feeling about this. Uh, how rude of me. I forgot to tell you, um, to tell you how it used to be. When the pyramids were built, oh, no. I was the chief flogger on the north side. Yes, yes, in my life I've unified. Unified Tibet, I said. Back then, I served as a carpet beater under three different Dalai Lamas. For one of them, I was even there as a rebirth assistant in the maternity ward. It was very different from the year I was an interior decorator for the Mayas. Build a mythical sliding puzzle here, hide a few artifacts in dark alcoves over there. Oh, yes. I was building secret crypts when you were still in... in... in the indie band Inquisition Overload. But it flopped, unfortunately. The time wasn't right for oh, that kind please. of music. Please. Plus, our drummer had the plague. Uh, I got old. So old that all I'm good for now is as an exhibition piece for history class. Class. Okay. Um. Uh, 
I'm going to hold off on this for just a bit. Uh, the lunch lady likes jars. And we have a bomb that's... And like I said, I just got back to the game. And we're looking for something that has a steel, steel walls. And I think we've been there and done that. So, and I think he's going to talk a long time. So, <laughs> I think we come back to him. Now, I'm going to see... First of all, what I'm, what I'm thinking of, you know, it's no secret. What I'm thinking of is that big-ass stove down in the cellar. So... Evidently, I accidentally hit the uh, inventory there. This is kind of touchy and kind of slow sometimes to respond. Which is neither here nor there. Come on, Lily. We need we need the hairpin. And we don't need Shawnee again, because I know how this... I don't know, but I suspect we get the whole spiel again. Okay, what we want to know is if we could get the hairpin out of the bomb. I think. Because we don't have any other unscrewing tool. Alright. Uh, we've talked to Doris, so I don't know if that means... Lily got along great with Doris, the lunch lady. That's why she knew Doris would start throwing knives <laughs> if anyone messed up her pantry. No, it doesn't mean that. <laughs> uh, might have had the sound a little low. I didn't check it. Uh, so what we want to do is uh, look at the stove. <laughs> what the hell? Memphis was, was trembling all over. No wonder. The stove had gone out. Oh, he's cold. I don't remember if he was a huh? bully or what? not. Quick, close the door before anyone sees me. This is the last safe place in the entire convent, and I wanted to stay that way. Uh, okay. Do you want to sing? The end of the world is Mr. near. No, 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 no. I am damned, damned, damned are, are you. you. <laughs> what a lovely song. Apocalypse now. Uh, the Rido or? La, la, la. The end of the world is near. Okay, you're starting to repeat. Uh, what about my recipe? Get lost before someone discovers me. If you're looking for your recipe, talk to Shorty. He pocketed it. Nah, that doesn't work. What about the stove? Someone might hear you, and then they'll take away my hiding place. And if they take away my hiding place, then I'll definitely be next. The stove is the safest place in the entire convent. You know, it has a corrupt steel casing, titanium reinforced interior walls, and is lead coated inside. I'd even survive a bomb attack in here. Well, there you go. If you don't know, uh, Krupp Arms built all the German munitions for all the wars right through World War II, and then there's a, a mystery there. Uh, don't even try talking me out of it. I'm staying here. It's much too dangerous out there. Lily had no idea what Memphis was talking about, but he'd always been jumpy. Well, there you go. Well, I think that's... We're damned! Damned! Yeah, he doesn't got any more. Well, you know, he did look chilly. And we were, you know, either. How about a bomb, Memphis? It was the perfect place to get rid of the detonator. What's that? What, what do you have there? Lily could finally use the hairpin. Does it have to blink like that? Lily closed the door again to keep Memphis's hiding place safe. Oh. oh, Lily, Lily. She's just always so considerate. Something seemed to be wrong with Lily's ears today. She kept <laughs> hearing all these sounds. Uh, I'm gonna do Was this Lily first. Was Lily finally now also Gumbo? Is that all it says? Was Lily finally okay, now also that's Gumbo? All it says. I thought it was going to tell me it could unscrew things. Oh! <laughs> it's the potato gnomes! <laughs> oh no! 
I think lunch is going to be late. Oh, I, this is, uh, this, this... The stove was black and empty, just like the mirror that always appeared in Lily's dreams. Poor Lily. Well, that was our original message, so... I guess that's all. I don't think she can respond to the gnomes. Everything is pink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh... Oh, we have the, uh, I think that's a screwdriver for a little girl. And we also have this jar that's a twist head. We have, uh, I almost said poo brick out here, but I'm trying to watch the swearing thing. So we have, uh, poo head out here who's playing with the lighter. Okay, uh, I'm going to go talk to uh, Doris again. They made this very... Ch I think the, the historian was talking about crypts and stuff like that. So I think he has the secret we need to take to Frank. Now, I would swear that Doris said something about twisting twist jars to calm her nerves... And we have a jar. I don't know if it'll advance what she you has to again. say or not. You shouldn't be wandering the cafeteria between meal times. The strangest accidents have happened then. Yes, and, I have and an recently. For nearly all of them. <laughs> of course you do. All right, I'm hungry. You, before you ask for more food again, it's been hours since I held a canning jar in my hand. My hands always get a bit nervous at times like this. They break everything they touch. Children's legs, children's arms. I just can't control them. Would you like to have a jar? I've had it up to here! Haven't I told you a thousand times already? Get the hell out! Just wait! Oh. I need something to calm my fingers! Certainly. <laughs> uh, thanks. That was close. Now take your stuff and get out! Now! Okay. Uh, I can't... Yeah, I... I woo. Had a vision of her hopping over the counter and... Uh, well, I'm a little uh, befuddled by that. So what she do? She gave us a jar of alcohol and a guinea pig, and we have the hairpin. But and not the dormitory. Uh, damn it! 